Yeah, this party started in the bottom right hand side. We are going to have ourselves the blue Terran player from the Shopify Rebellion. This is Bion. Taking on the red Protoss in the upper left hand side of the map, we are going to see ourselves stats. In fantasy stats, he's been doing well lately. Looks as though he's playing in more of the online events as well, so trying to stay in good shape. Happy to see that. Similarly, just gonna go down. Yes, I was ready for these early stages, figuring out what exactly are. Uh, Initial game plan is going to be obviously we've seen a little bit of TVP earlier. Probably going to see a little bit of TVP Right now as well I imagine we're going to see quite a bit of TVP throughout the day TLDR <laughs> Nexus drops down the Rax is going to come up Get this underway. For a couple of moments here. We drop the pylon down, we get everything ready to go for a moment or two. And is unfortunately going to be losing out on his Reaper. That's not quite how I imagine he wanted that to go, so a little unfortunate. I'm going to see a couple more racks on the way. Bjorn is going to do what Bjorn does best, which is moving into some kind of aggressive plays. That is typically what Bjorn is uh, very fond of doing, so I'm going to be set up with that, but also into the triple CC on location. CT going to finish up on that third couple tech labs coming through. Marines are coming about. Stim, Warp Gate, Blink, all coming through as well. And Robo in the gateway just continue to come up here. So just going to get that on the go as well for the moment here. Just going to be seeing everything continue to get settled down for a couple of moments. Yeah, again, our blink continue coming by. The immortal coming up. Stimpak, combat shield, everything on the way. Take a few moments to figure out where I'm going to take this game. From stats' point of view, again, with a super fast 3cc on location from Bjorn, he's going to be setting up already. And it's going to see a couple of batteries coming up. The next is still coming through. The blink coming in as well. Again, again, a little bit of all of that on the way out for the moment. And this set for now.
And the bio force obviously is going to be in pretty good numbers. Going to be uh, a little bit of a factor to look at here as well. Let's just take a couple of moments to get settled. Just going to be seeing ourselves the Robo Bay extra gateways coming about. And Observer coming through, the plus one attack coming up on that forge as well. So all of that continue to come by just for now. Get all of this on the go. And it's coming up. Extended Thermal Lance coming through, plus one attack is on the way as well. So have our and Colossus coming by, extended thermal lands with that plus one, so we know where Stats is taking this for the moment. You see where he is going to. But I'm just going to go through and going to whack away at a, a little bit of those rocks. So just open up the map again. It's kind of funny because you get to see all these barracks and you kind of expect them to be pretty darn aggressive but uh, it turns out that they're actually not going to be that aggressive because obviously we had that super fast third base that makes it a little bit of a funkier situation let's see now our bio continue to come back around just going to go knock down some rocks once again i'm going to open up as much space as we can on the map all that we can do, the happier we're going to end up being for sure. This is going to be seen an attempt to dive in, though, and Bjorn is going to knock down the Colossus. This is going to be looking pretty darn successful. This looks as though it is going to be a success story. It's going to be seen our bio. It's going to be enough to take this one down. This is going to be a victory. Bjorn taking game number one of this best of three. So, Bjorn is able to open up with a 1-0 lead. Go to the bottom right side. It is going to be our blue Terran player. This is Shopify Rebellion's Bjorn. And the top left, our right Protoss player is Stats. And number two, one of the best of three. And let's see, Bjorn already getting a little bit aggressive here in this game. What's up, Kitty Dasman? Thank you so much for the 22-month resub as well. Appreciate it. Unstoppable Pork, thank you so much for the 17-month resub. Good morning, hello, hey, hi, hello, everyone. Thank you so much for the love. Appreciate it. Well, these rivers are on the way up, and we are going to see the probes nibbling at the SCV. This is all known about by stats, so he is aware at least of what's coming his way. As Bjorn obviously wants to get this pressure going, wants to get it done immediately. Ripper is going to fight. A couple of probes still going down. Zell going to go swiping against the bunker. We 
we do have a second Reaper showing up. So Gold Probe's going down, obviously with the Stalk going through and a battery coming online. Not sure how much more this will get done for Bjorn. Looks like he's just going to go to three Reapers and then play from there. Next is just going to build. You have our factory coming up. A couple extra probes just coming in. The Stalker. The wolf cake continue to come about a couple grenades. Continue to come through for the moment. And factory coming up, just gonna be about halfway done. We do have our bits and bulbs still coming about here. The stalk comes back to the upper side. The rubber facility drops into the natural, so this has been a bit of a weird opening, but. We'll see if Bjorn can kind of salvage it. I like it a lot so far. It is going to be... Uh, I like it a lot for stats. I mean, the defense seems good. Bjorn invests into the three Reapers. His factory is delayed. His command center obviously isn't as quick as usual. Srax is going to fly back to build a reactor in the main base. So it's going to be there again. Reaper again shoved back once again. Still seeing our cyclone coming by. Gonna see our reactor tech labs continue to come up. Medivac still on the way through. CC coming about as well as again. We're just going to see our reapers continue to come around. A couple of shots here. Maybe able to net a zealot before the stalkers get there. And we're going to turn it around. Doesn't want to actually lose the Reapers, we'd rather keep them alive. So yeah, just keeping those Reapers alive for the moment. And you see one Reaper going down. Next Reaper going to get shot down as well. Yeah, uh, Hallucination is just going to get a few shots off. Keeping an eye on things. Obviously, just checking the timings of stuff. This time, the third CC of Bjorn is going to land in main base much more regularly. And then Robo Bay, the gateway, a bit of everything continue to come through. And again, Stalker's going to hop up into the main base. Going to be hanging around again. Gateway, Robo Bay continue to come up. A few extra probes coming in as well. Engineering base still coming through. They're going to be finishing up in a couple of moments, so we get those up and running. We still got that forge and the Twilight Council coming up as well, so we continue to get things going as the Cyclone locks on for a couple of moments. Going to go after uh, a couple of probes. The damage being done here is Bjorn is desperately in need of doing something because he's definitely trailing after this opening. I mean, he's getting to his bio upgrades. I wouldn't say Stats is kind of cruising along. I mean, Stats is only just now getting a Twilight online, so it's going to be a while until his gateway units are really kind of full power as well. And it's not like he's going to have an upgrade lead, it's just he did have a good economy and he does have a little bit of an edge in army. I guess we'll see how it ends up. Just going to be seeing our plus one attack and our charge continue to come through. Immortal's going to be there, Stalker and the Zell going to push that Reaper back to the top as well. It will go down. On upgrades, combat shield. Because of shells, again, a bit of everything already coming about as our units set up out the front of the third. Yeah, next extra gates coming around here. The pylons are still building. We just have this little bit of army setting up on the far right side of the map. So just chilling out there. Another Colossus coming through. Cyclone loads, uh, unloads one more time. It's going to knock, uh, knock itself into the probe. It's another little grab on that. So see our next is coming through on the fourth base. Again, Temple Archive is coming up. The gateway is coming in. The Stalkers are going to be here to shoot this medevac down. We'll get a kill. So that's cleaned up at least. And now Bjorn has a little bit less pressure out on the map. 
just one last thing going on here. Once again, our temple archives and our gateways continue to come through. The forge still coming up as well. Again, just bring that plus two attack, the charge. Everything continuing into play right now. All these pylons coming up as well, by the way. Just going to get those going in the back of the main. And stats needs to get out of a supply block. A little mistake there. A hurdle he needs to overcome. This bio is still gathering up. Zelda Stalker coming down the bottom. I'm going to stem it up a little bit here. The three Zelda still moving around as well. I do start to dive in with these bio forces and just trying to do a bit of something. Again, extra ghost all building up. The CC's coming about. Jen is very happy to go into the later stages, and stats is as well. Dark Shrine is obviously a good indicator that the Protoss player is looking towards a later stage of this game as well, so getting that started and into place. Well, a few extra Zelda warp in with this as well. We are going to start making a little bit of a move forward. Colossi will fire up from afar. Lost fields are going to be set. We are going to get rid of a few more SEVs, Vikings as well. Take us some more shots so we don't have got a chance to pick our way through this orbital command. And we've seen the rest of the bio continue to come through. The SCVs are going to get blasted. 20 plus workers going down. Well, it's a good timing from stats. And Bjorn just wasn't quite online with all of the tech that he needed or just the bulk of units that he really needed to kind of deal with this. And that means that we're likely going to be seeing this one. Uh, I was going to say wrapped up soon. Maybe with the warp and we still will. I don't like the third CC going back into place. I feel like that is just danger asking to be, ha uh, you know, come into play. The two Colossi here that still can't be touched. Well, the Zelda's just going to come about. GG's stats as it up one to one. That means we're going to go to a game bracket as well. It is a good section of StarCraft 2 to be following today. And so we get ourselves ready for all of that. In the top right hand side, our Blue Terran looking to move through to that next round is going to be from the Shopify Rebellion. This is Beyond. Up against, in the bottom left, our red Protoss player, we have ourselves stats. And game number three of this series. I mean, it was a good start from stats in that last match as well. I think that's something that definitely comes into it. What did, Bjorn, what did Bjorn do wrong in this game? I mean, he was just behind from the fact that the Reaper proxy didn't really do anything. Honestly, not necessarily too much else from there. It was just like, he's a bit behind. And the problem is, if a Protoss hits a crisp timing where they have the tech units up and Bjorn doesn't have his tech units up or enough to protect his tech units, that timing's going to be rough because you know, the Colossi being untouchable makes it very difficult to deal with that. is going to come about here. It's just going to go across the map. The stat's going to get a scout off early. And it's just going to start nibbling at that SCV. It's not like Bjorn did nothing bad from, you know, after the start, of the, or nothing good after the start of the game either. It's just, it got to a point where there was only so much you could do. Probe ends up pulling back down to the bottom left-hand side. Reactor on the refinery coming through. And next is coming up, the warp gate coming in. The 
Gets across to this far left hand side. Adept is going to go shading forward, it's going to be shading a bit. Again, we've got ourselves a Stargate halfway done, the Adept and the Warbrigade coming in. And Widowmine, Starport all coming up. They have this Widowmine already in the center, going to take a couple shots as it tries to get Burrow to get out of trouble. It will do that. The Adepts can still move forward. There's three Marines, about to be five. I think with five Marines, they're going to be okay. Going to lose one Marine as the extra Marines pop. Uh, the second Marine coming out was a little bit slower, but we're good. Gonna lose a couple of Marines to clean out the Adepts is pretty much good in this situation. Adept just chilling. Are we going to try and trick the Widow Mine? Nope, we're just going to shade backwards to the Watchtower. That's the Widow Mine B for the moment. As we have the Robe of Sildi following up from the Stargate Phoenix openers. We're going to be seeing the Phoenix, the initial choice here from stats. We're going to be moving straight into that already. Marines continue to hang out in the center here just for a little bit. Robovic coming through. It's going to be seen again. I liberate our cyclone all on the way out for a couple of moments. The Robovic and the gate continue to come through for the moment. Phoenix around the bottom side. Still just hunting around to see a bit of what's up. As he will have. Another one of mine just going to come back onto you. The watchtower there just for a moment. So moving around the right again, it's going to be seeing our model coming up, our Nexus coming in. Again, engineering bays, refineries coming about the tech lab. And the Adept is going to continue to fire up out of Widow Mine at the moment. It's going to lift up Marine, lift up the mine as well. Back down that bottom left. Still got the 1-1. One, one, still got the stim coming up. And Twilight and the Forge still coming about. We've got our Nexus finishing soon. I mean, stats again slowly moving into that other tech as he's got the Phoenix up. That Phoenix Colossus play does typically more slowly move into everything else. Takes a little bit usually, so I want to be doing that. Again, Stim, 1-1 one, one upgrades. A couple of missile turrets coming through. The barracks are on the way. Again, a couple of medivacs continue to come about as well as our Phoenix will go back up through the center of the map again. The Phoenix continue to move around again with the upgrades coming in for the bio player. We'll see Bjorn maybe soon. Can it really take a bit more of a stronger stance out on the map, I'd imagine. Having those upgrades all finishing would be absolutely prime time for him to, like I say, step forward and go and get something done. Would make a lot of sense. So kind of expecting that to come through for sure sooner rather than later. we got an armory, a couple of Vikings coming up. 1-1 one, one in combat shields is on the way through as well. So Bjorn continues to build into a good set of upgrades. And again, as he hits that kind of uh, peak with the upgrades, maybe he will try and make something of a play. Now we continue to sit in the center though. And combat shield is about to finish up. The T2 upgrades are still up as well. A couple more Vikings are going to come in. Okay, 
Okay, Ghost Academy is going to come about. The Temple Archives is about to finish. We do see again the Gravitic Drive on the way in, the charge coming up. Prism continues to move around the bottom side with the Zealots in it, so that's going to set up to try and get something done quickly as well. Uh, there's a Marine already taking a couple of laser beams. We're going to see a couple more laser beams now. A Cyclone going down as well, so damage being dealt. My Phoenix, our Colossi, I'm going to back around the center for the moment. What he went away from him? And every Reddit Fred was what he crit. Really? I didn't uh I didn't see any of these. Zelts drop in a couple of SCVs begin to take damage. Vikings will go knock down that prism. A couple of zealots will continue to drop as well. Let me see now a couple of EMPs continue to go down. Continue to come around a little bit. Just gonna be seeing uh depots continue to take a lot of shots. C30 and SCVs dropping gun is, however, getting a better fight. So his army's going to survive. Oh, I don't love the recall. Is that second Colossus dead? No, it lived on the last little bit of HP. The rest of the Zealots continue to come about. Heading down the bottom left. Plus two attack, plus one armor coming in. Dropped going about as well. Prism coming back over and is going to get caught by the Vikings as well. So no love found there for stats. As it means that Bjorn can continue to be uh, well, a good position. And we've seen that Colossus does get knocked down. A couple of Vikings able to shoot there straight away. And Colossus taking some more hits. And we do have the army pulling back down the bottom left once again. Another round of warpins going through is Bjorn trying to decide where or if he wants to really kind of fight out on the map here. Still just figuring that out. The disruptor just gonna fire. A couple of wooden mines getting picked off. Bio will still charge. I see a couple of results going down. The Vikings will fire up. Colossus already taking shots. Bio will turn and fight. And the rest of this bio is continuing to kite backwards here. The EMPs have been decent so far. Archon and Stalker still moving through as we will see a couple of ghosts getting grabbed by those zealots with EMP once again. Zealots just continue to drop at the moment. As these Vikings do land down, obviously no use for them any longer. May as well be used on the ground. We need the extra zealots to show up. That will charge. Vikings will be hunting. Viking gets picked off, the Marauders are getting chased, and we do have ourselves a army on the left hand side. And be uh, coming around as well. Stats is genuinely not just pushing this back, but he is all the way across the map. The Zealots are not being answered right now, and Stats is starting to genuinely deny this third. If he sits here, it's smart because the units from the left side will come in and kind of uh, pin some move onto this uh, force. I feel like he could have waited a bit longer even to use those Zealots on the left hand side, but honestly, still looking decent. Can he actually continue to take a fight? I guess becomes the new question. Pushing his way into the natural. So many zealot stats. May very well just have done this here. 38 SEVs, 40 SEVs down. You see the rest of our stories continue to fly. A couple more zealots warping in across the board. We are going to have the blink and the plus three attack coming through as well. 50 SEVs dead stats. It's starting to run dry on army supply, but I don't think it's really mattering just yet. Widow Mines go off on the prism. And Bjorn scrambled together a defense, even if he does, his economy damage is already being taken. But at least maybe he could go across the map himself with the army. And if you go across the map with the army right now, maybe there is still some hope or opportunity for you to get something done as the last couple of Zelts will go down. This is the end of this onslaught.
Tahoe uh, keeps gathering again. Full base is getting set in total. Prism Chrono Boost now the Robo Facility. Still got the three three upgrades coming about as well. See a little scan coming out. Bub's going down. I see another wood of mine shot probe gets picked. Again, game somehow settles here. And if Bjorn can absolutely stabilize on an economy, we actually do just have a game. I thought maybe it would come down to Bjorn having to just go and push immediately, but you know what? 13 STVs behind, but he has the uh, orbitals as well to help him back on that. I mean. It's honestly not that terrible for Bjorn. I think the fact that Stats lost so many of the units at the very end really stopped him from being able to set up to do even more. And that's a big part of what allows Bjorn to just focus on bringing those SCVs back as well without kind of being in danger in an army. His army obviously feels comfortable for a bit. Sonny still sets in the center. Widowmine is going to get picked away yet. Let's just nibble a bit. One more Archon just starts in. The Colossus and the plus three armor coming up as well. So we continue to get that going. Just going to be seeing another little scan out in the center. Colossus, Stalkers, Archon, Zealots, everything joined together. And you back over the right hand side, and now stats starts to move up towards the top. This is all a couple more high templar coming through. You do see the depot is taking damage. Starts trading away. Obviously, that orbital lifted up. If Young can find a fight here, maybe there's still some hope. Stats' army did repower up pretty nicely. Those Colossi going untouched, and with Colossi just firing away like that, it's going to be rough to find a fight. 17 SCVs did fall. Finally, gets picked off. Colossi continue to fire. A couple more SCVs going down as well. I am still trying to stem through. The Zelda's are going to get picked away. A couple more EMPs. I mean, again, the bio just cutting backwards. Bjorn trying to reinforce with everything. Army supply, he's actually going to take a little bit of a lead right here. But he has no energy left on his ghost. So he doesn't have any of the kind of tech value that he would usually have. A few Vikings are going to show up. Can they get rid of the Colossi? The Colossi have been a big factor here. We're going to actually focus the Prism, which is not a bad choice. Prism going down is a big deal. Now we're going to get rid of the Colossi. One, two, and three. A few Stalkers and Zealots remaining. And Bio is actually going to load up into Medivac. So the Blink used to. We can't play the chase him game there. That's the probes coming to Val. But Bion just says he's going to GG. He doesn't have a way to get back into this. So it is going to be game. That is going to do it. And that is going to be stats taking game three of the best of three. And just like that, we have ourselves a, well, a little bit of an upset. But